Machine shop. <laughs> yeah, boy. What is the easiest way to get particles for enchanting an outward? These items drop from elementals, some sort of jelly blob creature. There are different colors of these creatures and each drops a different particle. Fire, decay, ethereal, ice, and light. All of the elements you can use in combat. Unfortunately, as you might have already found out, the drop rate for these is not high. Often you can kill three or four of these creatures in one cave and not get any at all. So, let's go over some of the best ways to farm particles in Outward. The number one way to farm the light particle is in the Voltaic Hatchery. This is the lightning cave near the exit to Berg in Chersonese. If you head in and find the Golden Matriarch, this monster will have one elemental light particle every single time you defeat it. Now, some of you might be thinking, but I thought many bosses don't respawn. They don't, but this one does. Not sure why, but I've tested this more times than I care to count, and after seven days outside the region, this mini boss in particular should respawn. I mean, it can be tough to fight, but with a dark varnish, it doesn't usually last long. And if you're lucky, the elemental here will also drop you a particle. You can sleep in town to respawn the monster or simply come back to this cave whenever you're finished exploring other regions. It is one million times easier to farm than the next process I'm going to talk about. Which brings us to the clock tower puzzle, my most hated mechanic in the entire game, yes, even worse than the town building. Don't get me wrong, it is easily the best way to get particles. You head to the clock tower area in the antique plateau. In the middle is a fire of sorts that will be one of five colors. Whatever colors displayed means you need to head to the lamp that matches that color. These lamps never move and are placed around the region. Now, sadly, the elementals don't spawn directly next to the lamp and will instead roam around a huge area. This is where the wiki map comes in. Each elemental could spawn anywhere within their colored section. Yeah, it's a little much, I agree. Now, most of the time, there are select locations you'll see these things. Here's my map with some markers to give you a good estimate. However, if you can't find one of these elementals, just know they can hide in and behind buildings. I've even walked around for hours at points because of this. So, rule of thumb, go to the fire, whatever color is displayed, go and fight that elemental. Come back and you need to reset the fire. So either sleep for an hour or quit out. The fire will then change colors and you can go on another search once again. Once you've taken down all five elementals without resetting the region, so seven days spent outside the antique plateau, or in town, one elemental of each color will spawn in the Duvernay Plaza, top left of your map. This mini quest is beneficial because these specific elementals drop more particles than others, and are guaranteed to drop at least one. I got three particles from several of them in one run actually. Now we get to why this quest sucks. Not only do you need to walk around the region several times, but it just so happens this sort of quest will break. How so? Well, the fire that lights up with different colors can decide to just not turn on whatsoever. You can fix it by sleeping a few times, going back to town, and sometimes quitting out to the main menu. But regardless of what people might tell you, this might not work. Sometimes, when you've found all but one elemental, it'll just break and you can't finish it. Because the only way to fix it for sure is to reset the entire region. And like I said earlier, this all needs to be done before the region resets. In fact, for this very video, I had to go look up some old stream footage of me finishing this. I spent all morning and it broke on me three different times in a row. Clearly, I don't like this quest, so why am I telling you to do it? Regardless of the fact that it's broken, it's the best way to farm particles. You have the potential to get two particles from the elementals each just by defeating them near their lamp posts. So if you're as unlucky as me and can't finish the entire puzzle, you can still get a good amount of particles from starting it. Now, the other way to get particles is to complete the Rust and Vengeance questline. This is the massive train dungeon in the Antique Plateau. It has you clear several huge dungeons with loads of monsters and loot. Fortunately, there are more elementals in these dungeons than anywhere else in the game. So by the time you complete the entire thing, you'll have at least a few particles. And at the end, when you take on the final boss, you can speak with the headmaster and he'll reward you with one particle from each element. 
Those are going to be your most efficient ways to get elemental particles. Some of the mini bosses can drop them as well, so be sure to explore the entire game and fight the different uniques around the world. As for Purifying Quartz, which is another material for enchanting that's kind of hard to get, it also drops from elementals at a very low rate. So you'll need to just collect it as you play throughout the game and never sell it. Just please do not sell them. However, there is one single enemy in Outward that will drop five of these upon defeating it. In the Grotto of Chalcedony in Caldera, you can find the Quartz Elemental. It is not an easy monster to defeat early on, but can be taken down with fire. He'll definitely not respawn, but you can get five quartz upon his death, guaranteed. So it's worth the trip over there at least once. A lot of people probably already know about this stuff, but there are some others who were asking me about it and I figured I would help out. These particles really aren't that hard to get if you're patient and play through all of the caves, but if you're eager to enchant early on, it becomes quite a chore. I always enchant my gear before starting a playthrough. I'll use those materials on an old character and a legacy the enchanted stuff to my new build. It saves a lot of time. Hopefully this helped some of you out. The clock tower quest is something I have never covered because the chances of me actually completing it at this point are less than 50-50. Sometimes I think I've figured out the perfect way to keep the fire from disappearing and then it just goes out on me. Feel free to check the comments as some people may have gotten something to work for them. But regardless, it's still worth even starting just for the higher drop rate in particles. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time.